Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining today's IC Real Time webinar. <clears throat> In today's webinar, we will be discussing IC Real Time's pre install planning. IC Real Time's pre install planning is a webinar that talks about uh, some of the things you'll need to make uh, to have a smooth and easy install. <clears throat> I have muted everyone's microphone, but I will unmute everyone's microphone at the end of the webinar to field any questions anyone might have. My name is Michael Caballero. I'm one of the national sales executives here at IC Real Time, and let's get started. Before we begin, I hope everyone had a safe uh, and fun uh, New Year's and Christmas. Uh, hope everyone had a great time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going. So <clears throat> before we're gonna begin, we're gonna talk about uh, the right tools for the job. So when installing an IP or analog camera system, you wanna make sure you have the right tools for the job. Proper planning will make almost any install much smoother and easier. If you have the proper tools, you'll have a much better chance of getting any, every installation done, uh, done right. So the first we're gonna talk about is going to be a computer monitor. Now, a monitor is really essential for your recorders to get them up and running, uh, especially if you're setting up on a local area network. Uh, oftentimes, a monitor will not, <clears throat> or you'll need a monitor because the recorder will not pull an IP address and allow you to log in over the local area network. Uh, so to interface with the recorder, uh, <clears throat> you'll want to have a monitor available. All of our NVRs as well as our HDVRs uh, do come with HDMI and v uh, VGA outputs. You can connect the monitor to VGA or you can use that HDMI output as well. And that's gonna allow you to then go into the network tab and make your adjustments to your uh, network settings. Make sure you pull an IP address or assign an IP address, uh, set that to static. Uh, and then you'll have that ability to configure the rest of the way uh, through sim uh, simple Windows laptop with a web interface. <clears throat> now, this is a little bit misleading, and I should update this uh, soon, but you no longer need a just a Windows laptop. Uh, previous to a few years ago, uh, our recorders, when loading them up for, through the web interface, as well as our cameras, uh, used Internet Explorer. Uh, so you had to have uh, Internet Explorer available to you uh, to install plugins that were required, uh, and you really couldn't do that on a uh, Mac laptop or an Apple laptop. Uh, nowadays, all of our web interfaces are HTML5, which means you can use basically any browser that you want to. Uh, so if you wanna use Safari on a, on a Mac, you can do that. Uh, if you wanna use your Chrome on a Mac, you can do that as well, uh, along with Edge, as well as, <clears throat> as well as Firefox. Now you do still want to have a laptop for that web interface, especially if you're going to utilize any configuration of uh, your IP cameras, uh, as well as your recorder. Uh, if you're on the local area network, all you need is the IP address of those specific devices. Once you have that IP address, you'll go ahead and enter that in uh, and <clears throat> you can then log into that web interface. Again, all of our web interfaces are now HTML5, uh, so it makes it much easier to configure our IP cameras and our recorders. Of course, you also wanna make sure you have that, uh, especially if you're gonna uh, get any assistance from our tech support team. Uh, you really don't want our tech support or any, any uh, tech support to be remoting into a customer's uh, PC or laptop, so you wanna make sure you do have available uh, as well. Next is going to be cabling and media. So for your cabling, you do want to make sure that you understand the distances of your cable runs to ensure proper video and power throughput. So for example, if you're just using standard PoE, that's going to be a distance of about 320 feet. Uh, if you're using our ePoE, uh, that you want to make sure that you have that at a distance of about a thousand feet. Uh, and that goes also for any of our video balance as well that converts uh, especially our EPOC, which now converts power over coax using a couple of uh, media, media balance. You always want to understand the differences in your cable types, so your CAT5, your CAT5E, uh, your CAT6, uh, your Siamese cable, and your RG59 distances. And then always you want to make sure that when you do do your cable runs, that your cables are free are free of breaks and any kinks, uh, that, <clears throat> and make sure that they're connected uh, and pro properly terminated as well. Now, when it comes to troubleshooting any of your cable runs, you wanna make sure you have a short run cable. 
uh, as text here. Uh, your short run cable really is a known working cable, uh, whether it's a Cat5, Cat6 uh, cable, uh, as well as a analog cable as well. You wanna make sure that you have about a three foot distance uh, known working tested short run cable. Uh, the reason for this is if you're troubleshooting cameras as well as recorders and there's cameras dropping offline, uh, issues with cameras, issues with image quality, uh, you wanna make sure that uh, if you have your cable runs already run and you want to test for any breaks or kinks or termination issues, that you bring that camera down, bring it to the recorder or switch, use your known working test cables, uh, test your cable, test your, your cameras with those known working cables. Uh, if your cameras are working uh, and no, you have no issues with your test run cable, you know that's your cable run. If you're still having issues, you know that you can rule out your cable runs and you can identify those as issues with either the camera or the recorder. Uh, you won't believe how many times uh, environmental issues uh, cause a problem uh, where it's not the camera or the recorder that's having that issue. <clears throat> now for this testing, you do want to have a camera uh, and a cable tester. Uh, so we have an all-in-one solution with our IC Real-Time ITM 9000. Uh, ITM 9000 is basically a spot monitor on steroids. Uh, it allows you to spot monitor for analog, high definition or coax, as well as IP cameras. Uh, it does have PoE as well, so it can power your IP cameras. Uh, you can also use that to configure your IP cameras as well. You can set your uh, IP address, your subnet mask, your default gateway. And then it's also going to give you cable analytics. Uh, so your PoE voltage, your amperage, uh, your two-way data kilobyte flow, all of that is going to come from that ITM 9000. So it's a great piece to have in, in any, any installer's bag. Now next is icrealtime.com. icrealtime.com is a great resource for tools made available by us for you guys to utilize uh, from our software downloads page uh, to our help center, our form, which used to be our form, which is now our help center. Uh, you're gonna find tons of helpful details on our IC Real Time website. So for configuration, uh, our config tool, what's called also our ICIP DVR Find Utility, uh, Smart ICRSS Remote Client Software for both PC and Mac, uh, as well as Smart.DAV Player, which is going to allow you to play back uh, any of our tamper-proof proprietary file types. Uh, in that help center, you're going to find uh, all types of information, troubleshooting tips, uh, install uh, guides, uh, written by the same technicians that you would call uh, if you needed any kind of assistance. Uh, and then you'll also find our storage calculator, which is going to help you to calculate how much storage you'll need, uh, as well as uh, how much throughput uh, when you have your cameras added up, your maximum throughput. So those are great tools to have available as well. Now, one of the most helpful is going to be our config tool, uh, also known as our ICIP DVR and VR5 utility. What this is going to do for you is going to allow you to locate all of your cameras and your recorders on the local area network. It will also allow you to configure those cameras and recorders from this config tool interface, as opposed to having to log into each and every camera to configure uh, settings like your time and date settings, uh, like your username and password, initialization. All of that can be done from that config tool. It will also allow you to batch configure uh, settings. So for your time and date settings, uh, you can select your time and date settings. So for example, if you were setting up all of your cameras on a local area network or using the secondary NIC card and not using the integrated PoE switch, you do want to make sure to turn off your, da your daylight savings time settings as well as your NTP settings. Uh, you can do that here and push that out to all of your cameras and only have DST and NTP running on the recorder. So this saves you a lot of time. You don't have to log into each camera and set those time and date settings. Same thing for your, same thing for your username and password. You can select all of your cameras on the network, create your username and password, uh, initialize to the recorder, and then push, all, push, push that out to all of the cameras on the LAN. You also have the ability to factor reset devices from the software, uh, as well as batch update uh, cameras and recorders. Uh, do keep in mind, if you're going to batch update uh, cameras and recorders, that you are pushing out the correct firmware uh, to those cameras and recorders. 
So tech support, tech support is probably one of the best tools you'll have at your disposal. But tech support is and has always been a free service provided by IC Real Time, and it is a huge asset. Uh, we have tech support on our East Coast facility as well as our West Coast facility uh, with about uh, nine hours of tech support coverage uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast. Uh, a few tips uh, when calling in a tech support, make sure that you do have all of your model number and your serial numbers ready to get tech support. Uh, our model number is important for troubleshooting issues uh, as we do have a wide range of models uh, with different functions and features, but having the correct model number allows us to effectively troubleshoot those issues. Uh, now, model and serial numbers can be found on the label of all of our hardware. They're generally placed on the bottom of our recorders, the top of our dome cameras, and on the back of our bullet and dome cameras as well. Now, assistance for tech support uh, is remote access. That's one of the most popular uh, that most people utilize. Uh, of course, um, it used to be what used to be very popular was port forwarding for remote access um, that has pretty much gone by the wayside with everybody using P2P. Um, but do, if you do need assistance with port forwarding and you reach out to uh, our tech support team, you want to make sure that you have the IP address of the recorder or IP cameras, uh, as well as the IP address of the router or modem slash router combo ready for port forwarding. Uh, you'll also need the login credentials of the router or the modem or the router slash modem combo when you call in. Now, if you are having issues with P2P, it requires that the recorder have internet access. So you do want to make sure that the recorder does have a local IP address from the local area network. Uh, if it still has the 192.168.1.1.108 IP address, you wanna make sure that you assign a proper IP address or have the recorder pull a correct IP address. If all of that is done, you should see in your P2P tab, your status indicate online, and then you can proceed with adding the device using either the QR code or the serial number to the mobile application or PC and Mac application. Now, when it comes to firmware, uh, again, you can reach out to our tech support team uh, for firmware updates. Uh, they can assist with that or they can provide you with the firmware that you need. Uh, you generally even don't even have to call in at this point. There's two much easier methods for recovering firmware for recorders and cameras. Uh, the first is gonna be just sending a, an email to tech at icrealtime.com uh, with all the pertinent information. We're going to need your, uh, your serial number, your firmware version and your build date for that device, whether it's a recorder or an IP camera. Uh, the other option you have as a dealer with IC Real Time, if you have access to the dealer portal, which you should, if, if you're a dealer with IC Real Time, uh, you'll have all you have to do is log into your dealer portal, go to the store, select your device in question, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see the latest firmware for that device. And then lastly is going to be getting set up with uh, getting a ticket for an, for an RMA and working with our eye care team. Uh, so you have two methods for grabbing an RMA. First is gonna be going through tech support, uh, especially if you need troubleshooting first, you want to go through tech support, they're gonna go ahead and assist you with troubleshooting and then push you over to our eye care team. Uh, you can also reach out to our eye care team at iCare at icrealtime.com. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you do have the serial number of that device. Uh, and you also want to keep in mind, advanced replacements are for items purchased within the last 30 days. Uh, any product past that uh, needs to be sent in for evaluation or may need to send, be sent in for evaluation. Oftentimes, depending on the camera, they'll just have you field destroy and send you a new camera. And of course, when you're talking to our eye care team, you're going to want to make sure that you do give them uh, as much information as possible uh, when it comes to uh, troubleshooting your issue, whether it's with our tech team uh, or our RMA department. So now what I'll do is I'll take any questions anyone might have. I do ask that if you have any questions, you go to the top of your Zoom meeting, click on your Q&A tab, and you can drop any questions you have in there, and I'll be more than happy to answer those questions.
Uh, Wesley, great question. Uh, storage calculator can be found at icrealtime.com. Uh, what I'll go ahead and do is drag over a tab here. Escape here first. I'm having some uh, technical issues here. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like I'm having some issues dragging over. But if you go to icrealtime.com, you go to support, and then you go to software downloads, you will see our support page. So software downloads, uh, and then if you scroll down, uh, you'll find our uh, file for our <clears throat> disk calculator, and you can simply download that, load it onto your PC, uh, and you can check all of your storage needs. No problem. All right. Well, it looks like no one else has some questions at this time. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us on today's IC Real Time webinar. My name is Michael Campbellero. I'm one of the national sales executives for IC Real Time. Have a fantastic day and stay safe.